Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access Trader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Uh, look, we're about 10 days away uh, from Thanksgiving, but the only turkeys around here are just bears. I mean, just bears who just keep on talking about that this market can go on. And, and they're right. The funny thing is, they're actually right. We've been talking about this nonstop for two, three, four days now. Um, I've been aus literally cautiously optimistic every single day. I'm, I'm really, really wary of this kind of euphoric, parabolic pull. But at the same time, man, we're just getting these relentless pivots after pivots after pivots. And, and you saw, especially in the first 45 minutes today, it, it got so damn aggressive that you almost like you almost left yourself speechless. It, it, it was just amazing. The stocks that you said to yourself, well, they can't go higher, right? There's no way to go higher. And they keep on going higher and they keep on going higher and they keep on going higher. And, and the most important part of all that is that, again, the, the, still, the same sentiment is still is intact. I continue to be bullish, but I'm very, very, I'm very wary of the potential rug pull. And again, I could be saying that for the next two months, okay? Uh, but it's okay. It's absolutely okay. And the key right now uh, to the game is, you know, I'm leaving the Roku parabolic moves to the upside. I'm leaving the Tesla parabolic moves to the upside. I'm looking for value. I'd rather find some value when they get exhausted back to the downside. But there's so much good value here. If you look, you know, if you look at our day and just literally from, from nut to bolt, when you look at our day, it was so damn aggressive, especially in the 40, first 45 minutes. You can find places. You can find much better places than a Roku, uh, than a Tesla, because again, they made their moves. Than an Apple, I mean, look, when you have moves like this, right? Like this, and like this, and you know, and like this. I mean, look, where's your value, right? Where's your, where's your value? I mean, you're buying stocks that made these ridiculous moves. And, and those are the, those are the trades that when you, that FOMO really kicks in, this is where you lose like half your month, your month in, in, in a matter of minutes. So um, our job right now is to find the value that is coming out of ranges. We saw today uh, with Amazon, with Netflix, even shop towards the later of the day, um, just LK was just, just ridiculous, just absolutely ridiculous. Shows you how strong this tape is. And I, I tell you, I think the most impressive thing that I saw today, based on market sentiment, it really does show you how aggressive this market is. And again, I'm sitting here and go, oh, yeah, I just want to make sure we don't get pulled. Is, is NVIDIA, you know, here we are, you know, here we are, talked about pre market. And I said, well, you know what, guys, let's keep an eye on this 203 level. Right, I was watching this 203 level pre-market. I said, "Well, if it starts building below this 203 level, I think this stock's going to go back to 200." Knock on wood, never, you know, never got there. You know, traded 203 and a quarter, uh, two, you know, 203. So it was never a push, not even close to that second entry push to 203 and a quarter. And what was so amazing about it, with the same aggressive nature that they killed the stock on Friday, they not only kind of dead cat bounced up. They took out this whole range, finally got above that 212 level and ran this thing through 213 and changed. I still think the stock probably sees 215, 216, maybe as early as tomorrow. That's how incredible this aggressive action is. But again, you know, and I say this all the time, there's nothing, there's no such thing as imminent. But again, the message is if you if you watch the, the weekend update, if you watch any of the videos in the last you know three, four days, you have to be cautiously optimistic because again, the same people, again, this is kind of a and this is kind of the question to the gallery. What was the difference, right? Like, what was the difference between, let me just show you so you can see a little clearer. What was the difference between buying Tesla on the opening range, right? Or buying Roku at the opening range, right? Like, what was the difference? There was absolutely no difference. The only difference was, was God on your side with Roku versus Tesla because Tesla, okay, hit the Opal Bowl in Japan and went down $7 from the highs. Roku just kept on going. So again, luck of the draw, luck of the draw. But my point is at any point when you're buying these really overextended charts, and again, they're going higher, yes. But at some point, you have to use common sense and you say to yourself, there has to be better value uh, somewhere. And I, we did a great job today of finding some good value. Um, really, really good value. Again, if you guys watched the, the weekend update, 
you know, I highlighted kind of what we wanted to do today. We talked about Amazon. There was just something wrong with Amazon. Just something wrong with Amazon. Um, I thought that opening range, that opening range went for twelve, thirteen dollars, like nothing. There's something wrong with the stock. They rallied it up, got rejected as well. And they kept on talking about over the weekend update about Netflix. I really like Netflix. I thought it was going to go this week. We caught this thing really, really well. Um, that LK we talked about uh, on the weekend video. You know, use the you know use this rising sixty minute support. That damn thing went red to green, and you started seeing these aggressive calls coming in twenty eights, thirties. And they chased it. They chased this damn thing up because, again, that's where the market is. People are chasing anything. And eventually, again, it's only going to end one way, guys. And, and again, nobody's telling you not to go long. This market is incredible. We even saw a stock, which I didn't see till I didn't see this thing till like later in the day. Like I saw it in the last like 10 minutes or so. But when you get a stock like this and it goes up 400 percent in a day, right? basically tells you people are willing to chase anything in sight. And again, eventually it's all going to end. But again, for now, enjoy the ride. Trade, obviously, cautiously optimistic. Again, it's a bull market till it's not. We have to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt every single day. I feel like it's a broken record. That's what it is. But be cautious. Be absolutely cautious. Uh, because again, when they pull, they're not going to pull you know, 15, 20 cents at a time. They're going to pull very, very aggressively. And again, there is no guarantees we rally towards the end of the year. It looks good. There's absolutely no macro news that's suggesting otherwise. Just be cautiously optimistic. So if you look at the pivots today, I mean, they were just cra The only one that didn't work was this. I, I shorted this beyond. I, I want to start with the one that didn't work. Uh, so I shorted beyond, right? It went down. Uh, you know, here's the two-sided range. We actually talked about this in the weekend update as well. Uh, 83.20 to the upside, 79 to the downside. So I, I shorted BYND and I said, you know what? I'm going to risk a buck. Okay, I'm going to risk a buck in the trade. It's obviously very, very weak. So I'm going to risk a buck in the trade. Here is your whole range here, 79. So I shorted, and it was actually sitting below 79 most of the day. And, uh, and it went down like 50 cents or so. But I, I said to myself, you know what? Let me see if this thing, you know, it's the first close over the five-day moving average. And if it closes below the five, like just like we talked about in the video, I think there's a shot that goes down like six, seven points. Okay. Um, so it was very, very important to kind of understand the dimensions of the stock, uh, kind of the nature of the stock, yada, yada, yada. Uh, again, I didn't use break even on the stock. So I wanted to lose about a buck in the trade, which was fun, which is absolutely fine because I, I, I knew what I wanted. Uh, it just didn't work out. It just absolutely didn't work out. And that sucked. But yeah, I think the rest of the day kind of made up for it. So uh, Boeing gapped up for all you guys who are still kind of managing the trade. It, you know, it went up as high as like 375, 376. It's just a it's just a tough nut to crack, man. This thing is just not the smoothest of names. It held uh, it held a breakout area to close above, uh, but again, that, that initial three sixty seven break traded up to as high as like seventy five sixty today. Um, you know, look as long as it stays above as long as it stays above that three sixty eight level, you're fine. But yeah, this is a tough tough. I, I the only thing I don't like this thing it put in this inverted hammer, so I kind of sucked. I just don't like that. Any close below. Uh, this 368 is no good. It's absolutely no good on this thing. But here we are. So talk about a talk about a game of inches, right? Uh, Netflix was definitely the trade of the day, um, at least for me. Um, 298.50, 299. Uh, that was kind of like the Citron, uh, the Citron top, right? So it just exploded. I, I said there was a shot at 303. I thought 305 was going to be uh, a little bit extended. The reason why I said 305 was me a little extended because that's the that's the linear regression line, and and it went to 305. I mean, just an absolute crazy move. Um, that first candle that was a three dollar move, man. I was so happy. I was so damn happy with this thing. Uh, really, really good move. Look, I think tomorrow if this thing starts reclaiming. There's a shot at some point of the week it gets to this uh, 309 highs, but we'll see. But excellent move. Uh, excellent, excellent move. Uh, NVIDIA, talk about a game of inches. And again, we just talked about that. I, I was looking to short this thing. I thought this thing was going to go from 203 uh, all the way down back to 200 where, where it was on Friday and just never got there, which is the knock on wood good. But it's just it's just amazing how these these pivots, they just don't care which way they're going to go as long as you're waiting for confirmation. Uh, BYND, again, just didn't work out for me. Uh, Splunk never got there. Uh, Crowd never got there. LK was crazy, okay? LK was just r ridiculous. Um, what we did in the, in the live webinar, again, what you guys don't see on the private Twitter feed, I only put the natural pivots. What we do in the, in the live webinars, and we talked about this during the, uh, the weekend update, is buying the stock on rising 60-minute support. And if you look at LK, it held rising 
60 minute support like perfectly, like literally perfectly. And it just exploded. And I noted here, and then you started seeing all these call buyers come in, but I noted here, I said, well, look, for, for experienced traders only, and I say this all the time, red to green for experienced no, traders no, only. Note, this is not a pivot, just momentum. Here was the pivot that really just, just took off. Uh, 2735 needs to build, and here's the 2735, and it went just ballistic, went almost to the 30 and a half. I mean, crazy move, absolutely crazy move there. Um, Amazon. I mean, what's not to like? Uh, 1732, 31 needs to build for more selling. Uh, I said there's a shot against the 25, 26. Um, and again, here's the pivot right here. Here's the pivot and actually went down all the way down to 1722. I know what my man Andrew Cordova caught it for like almost 20. I mean, great job there uh, as well. Uh, and again, here it is, you know, 1726, 27 last support actually got down to 22. Uh, Netflix, I mean, beautiful. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I said, funny thing is I said, let's go twice. That's how excited I was. I usually don't get too excited about trades, but that one was so aggressive, so smooth. I was very, very happy about that. Uh, this thing just didn't work. Uh, Beyond didn't work. Uh, again, LK flying just, just went nuts. Uh, really good, good move. I mean, really, really good move here. Uh, NVIDIA, okay, I said 220, uh, 212 going forward is going to be a big number, you know, traded up to uh, 213.50 or so. I still like it for tomorrow. I, I will be looking definitely uh, to buy this thing on any type of rising 60-minute support. Here's the uh, the 212 area that we discussed, went to 213.5. Uh, NVIDIA, we talked about that. Beyond, I mean, <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, WHR, I'm, I'm very surprised the stock didn't get killed. Um, it trades thin, uh, 142.40 if it builds below can flush. Um, you know, I, I'm very surprised it didn't flush out. I, I, I know it went down to 42, right? I, I know it went down to 42. Um, you know, I, I went, it went down to the 42 area, but it's just amazing. It just didn't give that big move. It really didn't. Uh, it went down like 30, 40 cents. Uh, here is a big move into the close. I still like it for tomorrow. Uh, shop, any close over 320 is bullish. Uh, here is shop. For all you guys who are still long this thing uh, overnight. Uh, 320 went to 326. Um, I think there's a shot tomorrow. It sees this supply here at 331, 332. So uh, big move towards the end of the day. You can see you can see here towards the end of the day on, um, you know, you can see this move just a Big, big move. Here's the 320. Just kept on rising. Just really, really big move uh, into supply. Uh, I still like it again for tomorrow. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, so going into tomorrow, again, you know, you got to be bullish until it's not. You know, there's, there's, there's nothing There's nothing to really uh, to think about. You got to be bullish until it's not. You have to look at signs uh, to see how the leaders are acting. Uh, again, obviously, you know, for stocks like Tesla and, you know, and uh, Roku, uh, again, they're very, very big uptrending stocks. The, you know, the, despite uh, Tesla having you know, a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a call back, you know, the only way to get short this thing on a backside move is starts, you know, taking down this channel. Roku, again, just an absolute monster. So going into tomorrow, guys, let me give you guys some ideas uh, for uh, tomorrow's session. Let me give you guys some non-beta ideas first. Uh, BLMN, um, I mean, pretty basic, pretty basic stuff. Keep an eye on this thing. Uh, 2360, if it starts building that. Uh, SEAS, uh, SEAS, again, pretty basic uh, chart. Uh, 3230, 3240, uh, excuse me, 30, 30, 30, 40, if it starts to build, has room to the 31 and a half area. Uh, Loco. Right? Is this that crazy chicken company? Again, pretty basic setup for all you guys who don't trade beta. Uh, starts building above this 1550 area. It could start the next leg up into the 1316s. Um, KRTX looks pretty good as well. Uh, and again, when I say pretty good, this is for experienced traders only. The, the only way to play this thing is kind of the same way uh, that LK was played. Okay, watch this thing on again. It's not for it's if you're a new trader, don't just close your eyes, leave the room, come back in, in about about 45 minutes, uh, 45 seconds. The only way to, to play this thing is on a washout into rising support, or or if you are playing this thing, uh, take it through 100, it closed at 96, risk four bucks for a possible. Well, I don't know, is, is it possible part two to this move? 
anything's possible with this crazy market. But again, if you're going to do it, understand what you're trading. Not every single trade is for everybody. And the most important part is that you are trading comfortability instead of trading uh, fear of missing out or all that stuff. So um, yeah, crazy day. Absolutely crazy day. Uh, please get to uh, morning strategy early tomorrow uh, so we can discuss uh, so we can discuss all the beta pivots. Uh, and with God's help, okay, see you all tomorrow, guys. Great job today, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.